Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! And welcome to the episode number 6 in development of FPX Game Engine. My name is Romandic and you're watching this episode live from North Pole. Yeah, extremely expensive, but I'm pulling it off. It, it was like, I don't know, you know, the trip to North Pole and all that shit. So, today I will be talking about updates that I did from the last episode, so you can probably assume that I didn't do so much because it was only three weeks ago and my school was still on, so I didn't have so much time. But I made something very cool and I will talk about it in a few seconds. My camera is in a little bit higher position, so it might seem that I'm a little bit angry, but I'm not. I'm extremely happy. And that's why I made this Christmas episode to wish you a Merry Christmas and to give you something. I hope that you will enjoy it. So let's begin. Now you can see that I made a nice Christmas spirit level with this nice iceberg, the frozen lake, lots of snow and popsicles and these cubes all around. They have purpose, you will see in a few seconds. If you remember from the last episode I said that I will need a picking system before I can start to work on the level editor or game editor and that is just the thing I made and that I will show you in this episode a picking system here you can see when I levitate with my mouse over these ice cubes they glow and also over these popsicles and also I made an algorithm that allows me to move these objects depending on mouse speed and the camera position. You will see once I move my camera, it will still work perfectly. I can play around with it, it's pretty amazing. I enjoy this dragging and dropping these objects, throwing them around. Thanks to Newton I have this beautiful physics inside. Yeah. OpenGL has an uh, implemented picking, picking system inside of it. You can use its method. But one there is a huge problem with it. It is extremely, extremely slow and that makes it unuseful. And that's why I decided to build my own. I mean, that was the only way to build it, to make it work. And I decided to go with the color picking system. It works in general you render the whole scene each object with different color then you check which color is underneath the cursor and you compare that color with object color and that's how you know which object is rendered on the screen and after you do it you render the normal scene that you will show on the screen and you do that every frame if you want or every 10 frame or whatever in general I do it every so that it works smoother. As I said before, my goal is to build a game editor that will allow me to build games. Now, if you remember, if I'm right, in second episode I shown a level editor that I made and it sucked pretty much. It was done with Windows API and Windows API is hurting me. It's hurting my brain, so I decided to go with totally something different to build a GUI from 
my engine because I already have a panel system and string system so it is possible and that is what I will do I did start to work on it but I will not show anything right now I will show it probably in the next episode and it will probably work fine I hope you enjoy this one this is pretty much all I had to say for this Christmas day if you like this rate comment and subscribe it's totally free see you soon